want. Eric Thompson here. Hope that you are doing doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Okay. Uh, this evening, a quick uh, update on the Mountain Man diet. Really, I just have three things to sort of go over tonight. One, I want to talk about my overall weight loss. Two, I want to talk about a couple recipes that uh, I've been using. Very simple. And three, I want to introduce someone to you um, who is also experiencing success on the Mountain Man Diet. Okay, so first and foremost, um, the last time I weighed was on, let me get the date right, July 19th, Friday, and uh, my overall weight loss was 30.6 pounds, okay? Uh, and, you know, who knows how accurate it is or it isn't. I had a big meal the night before. Very big and very delicious, but uh, you know, in any case, 30.6 pounds in two months and two days on the Mountain Man diet. Now, uh, I promise I'm not starving myself. In fact, it's quite the opposite. I'm eating very well and much to my enjoyment. Uh, things are going well and difficult. Um, at this point, my body's adjusted to not having the carbohydrate, right? Or to not having grains and all the processed food, the complex carbohydrates, right? I think I'm saying that right. Uh, getting away from all of those uh, things that I was depending on beforehand for salt and sugar and wheat and all of that. I'm pretty much away from that now. Very little uh, of the withdrawal is left. You know, I, I'm, I'm beyond all of that. And so now I'm trying to focus in on making more of a diversity of uh, recipes for myself and for Tori. And so quickly, let me show you a couple things that I have been doing. I'm gonna have Vegas uh, put the image up on the screen there for you. So the first is, uh, you'll see we'll do a before and after. This picture here is uh, the before picture of a pork loin, okay, uh, surrounded by vegetables. Now this pork loin um, I got at the store at Kroger in the discounted meat section. Maybe you have one at your grocer too, you know, just a kind of a big pile of random meats. Normally these sell for between six to eight dollars depending, and they were on sale for two ninety nine. dollars so I bought two of them. Um, what a deal, you know, I wish I had bought four or five. And so it comes in the brine, ready to go. There's going to be a little bit of salt in that, and it's not going to be sea salt. What to do? I can't... Uh, pull the salt out, so I just eat it the way it is. Surrounding it, of course, as you can see, uh, zucchini, carrot, yellow squash, broccoli, onion. I don't see anything else. I think there's some whole cloves of garlic in there too, but you can't really see them. And uh, to prepare that, I just put those uh, thick, rough cut, I might say you say thick cut or rough cut vegetables into a bowl. Olive oil, sea salt, pepper, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning. That's pretty much what I always use. Toss, toss, toss. Um, I just laid the, the pork in the middle of the pan. No no oil, nothing like that. No vegetable oil spray. And then I poured the vegetables around it. I put it in the oven at 350 degrees. I'm hearing it's 400. Something for 35 minutes. And it came out looking like this. Uh, as you can see, everything is cooked beautifully. Um, of course, there, that piece of onion, you see it's a little bit burnt. No harm done. You just throw it out or throw it away or eat the part that's not burnt. Um, I love how the broccoli florets almost kind of shrivel up just a little bit so that they're crunchy, but the stem still has the, the crunch left to it. The squash is wonderful, uh, just juicy. The pork itself was fantastic. So simple, so easy. A whole meal there in a pan, um, and Tori and I ate that meal uh, and had more left over for the next day. Let's go to the grill real quick for another just simple idea. Tori and I had a friend over recently and I wanted to make her kind of a mountain man meal simple. And so uh, here you can see what's on the grill of uh, vegetables and then we have three chicken breasts, four sausage links, and uh, some pork steak off to the side. The next picture here. Okay, everything's on the grill. Uh, it's looking good. I use that little cake uh, pan, cake tin, for all kinds of stuff. I love it. What I'll do is, uh, you know, I had the vegetables on a piece of foil, right, with the holes in the bottom, like a little tray. So I get them nice and dark, get them a little burnt, and then I put them in the, pan, in the pan and put them on that top shelf. So then they're cooking like they're in an oven, right? So I kind of grill them, sear them, 
Now they're cooking like they're in an oven. Everything else cooks uh, up to temperature. And then here's the finished product. Look at that. Um, so in the vegetables, again, we have zucchini. It looks like some orange pepper, green pepper, broccoli, uh, carrots, onion. Uh, it looks like that's all there is there. And then for uh, the meats, you, there you have sweet Italian sausage, grilled chicken breast with herbe de Provence, um, sea salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and then the pork steak is just olive oil, salt, pepper, and uh, oregano. And so, so, so simple. Um, start to finish, maybe an hour to do all the cutting up and to get the, the meat seasoned. I think I had the chicken breast marinate for like maybe a, an hour and a half beforehand. And so just a little bit. So there's kind of what I've been doing a little bit menu-wise. Now I want to quickly uh, go over to a really awesome, uh, uh, I guess just opportunity to bring you guys something really, really super cool. Um, my dear friend Kaylee, a former guitar student of mine, but still a, a good friend, um, she was curious about the Mountain Man diet. She asked me about it. She said, Eric, what is this thing about? And I said, this is what it is. You know, what, what are you thinking? She wants to lose a little bit of weight. And so she's been on the Mountain Man diet for a couple weeks, and it's going so well for her. I wanted uh, you to hear her experience. And so I'm going to turn it over to Kaylee, and... Um, and she's going to let you know kind of what she's been up to and how things are going for her. So Kaylee, uh, take it away. Hi guys, my name is Kaylee. I am a friend of Eric's and I am here to tell you about the Mountain Man Diet. Woo! Uh, I am one of his friends who found out information from him and from what he's told me, it made me want to try it. And so... Uh, before I started it, I was a pescatarian, and for those of you who don't know, basically I only eat fish as my only meat source, but, um, I didn't really be a pescatarian to try and lose weight, it was more of a bucket list thing, see if I could do it. But what do you know, I can! <laughs> so I went a month, a month and a half of that, or two months, something like that, with only eating meat, or with only eating fish. And so... I started the Mountain Man diet. I was going to try to be pescatarian through the whole thing too, but then I realized that I was starting to get a little bit sick of fish, so I do eat all kinds of meats now. Um, the most difficult part though for me for this diet would probably have to be with my job at Jimmy John's. I am a manager there, and so I work six hours, sometimes nine, sometimes I work the whole day. And so, with each shift that I work, I get a free meal, and that's one of the hardest parts to say no to because if you haven't been to Jimmy John's, our bread is really good. And every time I go there and we make fresh bread, I'm just like, oof, I wish I could have a sandwich right now because this bread looks like it just would be delicious. But I don't. I haven't had our bread in actually a really long time now, but that is probably one of the hardest things for me to say no to is the bread at my work, especially when I'm working from either an open to close or close to open. Sometimes I forget to pack a lunch or a dinner and then I'm like, oh, kind of hungry, but I manage. I make unwitches at my work instead of using bread, so it's basically just in a uh, lettuce wrap. The most rewarding part of this diet is that I have been losing weight. I started at 190 pounds, and I am down to, uh, I think like 184 now, 183, 6 or 7 pounds is where I'm at right now for weight loss, and I've been doing this for almost two full weeks. Um, I forgot what I was going to say now. Hopefully Eric can edit this part out. Oh no, I'm going to leave that in. <laughs> but anyways, um, I don't have any additional exercise. The only exercise that I have right now is I ride my bike to work and then um, I go on an occasional walk just because sometimes I get really bored around this house here. For those of you who don't know, I'm in Wisconsin right now, staying over by my campus for the summer, 
in order to work, and uh, I'm just waiting for the school year to start again. But for those of you who are interested in losing weight, for those of you who don't really have any time to exercise, and for those of you who just want to be overall healthy, I think you should really try this diet because really our bodies are made from our ancestors and they didn't have all the grains and processed foods that we have now. And so I feel like we should basically just nurture our bodies with what our bodies have been used to for thousands of years. So you should definitely try it. I guarantee you, you will see results. Eric can guarantee you, you will see results. It's not that hard, actually. I mean, it sounds like it might be a lot to give up. You know, you're giving up some of your favorite foods and a lot of things that you normally don't even think about would be unhealthy for you, but like ketchup. But after a while, it just kind of goes away, the cravings for them. I mean, I haven't had ketchup or any like additional sauces or any like Oreos treats. I haven't had any of those for a while now. And I don't know, I just stopped craving them after a while. But it seems like it would be hard, but after a while, you know, you just get used to the fruits and vegetables, especially if you enjoy them, which I do enjoy my cantaloupe. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know if I really have anything else to say. I hope I got accomplished what Eric wanted for me, so yeah. All right. Bye. Wow. So, um, weight loss alone, we're looking at, you know, between, uh, looks, sounds like about seven to nine pounds, maybe variable, um, within a couple weeks. And, um, you know, I think what she said about Jimmy John's is incredible. Uh, their unwitches, which I've not tried, are an option for the Mountain Man diet, you know, but it would just be vegetables and meat, of course, no cheese and no condiments or anything like that. And so she's really in a place where she's challenged to make the Mountain Man diet work. And uh, and I'm, I want to say that I'm just so proud of her for being brave enough not only to try a diet when it's difficult to do it in the first place, but then also willing to share with all of you the experience that she's had. Um, I hope that you'll join me in congratulating her. And, uh, you know, I hope that her witness will encourage some of you to also step out and not necessarily try this diet, which you may want to, uh, but to diet, to consider getting on a plan. <laughs> I should not have recorded this during a thunderstorm. <laughs> and it's not like it's a ways off the water. We're okay. Uh, but I, just, I'm just so proud of her for that bravery and, of course, for sharing. And, and if you guys, if any of you want more information about the Mountain Man Diet, please contact me, okay? Hit me on Facebook. Hit me on YouTube. Send me an email. Uh, I'll put my email address in the description below. If that's my personal email address. It'll come right to me. Uh, you know, maybe I won't put it in there. Maybe I will. We'll see. If it's there, then enjoy. <laughs> well, that's all for now, friends. Thank you for your time, of course, and really, truly thank you for watching, especially this series about the Mountain Man Diet. I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe to the channel if you care to. If the Mountain Man Diet thing catches on, I think I'll make a separate YouTube channel for that, okay? Um, but we'll get there when we get there. So for now, I'm just going to keep putting them in this playlist, um, and you can see all the videos from you know chronological order if you want. I think this is the fifth video. So anyway, check those out if you want to. Link in the description below to those videos. And as always, friends, I do thank you for watching, truly. And I do hope that you are doing well. Thanks. Bye. And thank you to Kaylee. Thank you, Kaylee. <laughs>